Hello, people. We meet again for the penultimate time <coughs> uh, to work out uh, the speed distance time graph thing that we've got going on here. So we've got Carol who runs in a race. The graph shows her speed in meters per second, t seconds after the start of the race. We want to work out an estimate for the gradient of the graph when t equals to 4. I have to show how I get my answer now. This is going to be a little bit wobbly. Um, just because I don't have a straight line. I do have my ruler here. Uh, so let's see what's going on. So it's telling me, work this, the gradient for the graph when t equals to 4. So t equals to 4 is here. I just go up. So I have to work out the gradient here at this point. So how do you do that? You draw yourself a straight line that passes through that point. Yeah. Something like this. There you go. And all I have to do is work out the gradient of this straight line. Now, obviously, everyone has a different way to do it by inspection. Hopefully, ideally, you'd be able to do it by inspection. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to do it by inspection. I'm choosing two points that are kind of on the line. So, I'm choosing this point here and this point here. All right. I draw my little triangle and I actually see that's one unit by one unit. So nice and easy, uh, difference in y or change in y over change in x. So I've got one over one. That means uh, final answer for me is going to be one. The gradient is equal to one. Uh, I checked the mark scheme because I did manage to find it online and they accept anything between one and 1.3 three they would give you the marks okay so when i did it by hand i got 1.05 when i actually pl plotted it on the graph uh, on paper okay so um it's asking me to uh explain or describe what my answer represents for the previous part so when you're working out the gradient here what you're actually working out is the acceleration Okay, four seconds after the start of the race. Mm -hmm. There. Okay, next, even more fun. Uh, find an estimate for the distance traveled in the first 10 seconds. So when you get a graph like this, the distance is the area under the curve. It's asking us for the first 10 seconds, and this is going to be fun in games for me. Uh, because what you have to do, it usually, or sometimes, we'll see in the next question, it says, use so-and-so many strips of equal length, or blah, blah, blah. But in here it doesn't, so we have to make an executive decision. It's usually a good idea to use strips of equal length, and I'll show you what I mean. So what you want to do is create yourself shapes that you know how to work the area out for okay so in here if i do this i can work out the area of this triangle here okay because it's got a base of two i'm just going to isolate it here so it's got a base of two and the height i did it earlier on paper so it's a bit more stable and i got 3.8 no how okay that's why i made my mistake so no, it's actually four point something. So maybe four point six. Okay. So um, we have to do the formula for the area of the triangle: two times four point six base times height divided by two. Uh, that cancels out. So that means that bit is four point six. Nice. Now. Next shape is going to be this trapezium here. Okay. So the next one, I'm just going to do it for this one as well. Hopefully you'll get the idea. So I've got that trapezium. And it looks a little something like that. Which has a base of 2. So this bit, the base is 2. And the height is 8. Okay. So I do my formula for the area of the trapezium in which I have to add up the parallel sides. So that one plus that one. 
whatever you guys get from reading on the graph here and there. So I don't even know what I did anymore. I'm getting bemused. So that's going to be 4.4, I'll say, uh, plus 8. So half the sum of the parallel sides times the distance between them, So which is 2. I can cross them out. So actually that area of that bit there is 12.4. 12.4. Uh, I'm going to carry on because obviously I kind of messed up my original results and see what I get now. Initially, I got 70.8, but uh, obviously uh, it's not going to happen anymore. So I'm doing some of the parallel sides. So 8 plus, I want to say, oh, 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 uh, I'm not going all the way to my line. I'm going all the way here. Okay, which would be um, 8 point, no, 9 point 6. So 8 plus 9 point 6. Obviously, divided by 2 times by 2, they cancel out. So that's going to be 17 point 6. Do another one here. This one is blessedly a rectangle with a base of 2 and a height of... I want to call that uh, 9.6. So 9.6 times 2 is 18, 19.2. And the last one here, trapezium. So we've got some of the parallel sides. So that's 9.6 plus 8. Same story, divide by 2 times 2, they cancel out. So that's going to be another 17.6. So now I'm going to add mine up. You guys add yours. So 4.6. Um, plus 12.4 plus 17.0. 17.0 rats. 17 is a new thing. 17.6 <laughs> plus 19.2. Plus 17.6. And I get 71.4 now. So if I add all these numbers up, I'm getting 71.4. Um, obviously, there is going to be a range, like a margin of error that they'll allow you to work between. Um, I couldn't find the answer to this part. I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah, that, that, that is the method. Okay, one more people and then we're done. I'll see you for yet another speed time graph. See you shortly. Bye.